I would definitely say to keep on working hard. Um, you know, you've worked hard for these past three years, so why would you quit in your fourth year? So keep on pushing, keep on working hard, and succeed your last year here. I definitely think you should make your high school years memorable because these are some of the kind of, I would say, easiest years of your life, and also we're going to have a lot of lifelong memories. Um, you know, I remember meeting a lot of my great friends, my fiance, in my high school years, so it's definitely a time where, you know, you're supposed to enjoy things like that. Take advantage of every opportunity. If you have the opportunity to join a club, join that club. If you have the opportunity to make smart decisions, then make those smart decisions. If you have the opportunity to take an AP class or dual credit and get college credit, then do it. Take that opportunity to sit next to somebody new in class or in the lunchroom and just take advantage of every opportunity you have. Work's a big, big thing in your school where just don't don't lose track of all that. Just make sure you're caught up. Going to MASH ain't really impressive anymore. So it's like, just make sure you get done with what you got to get done. With sports, it was all the way room, really, for me. It was, I enjoy working out. That's what my success was from. But school-wise, I kept a good GPA just because I paid attention and got my stuff done. I mean, those days where I didn't really try too hard, but I had all my stuff done where I could take a break. Uh, good grades was always the idea that uh, the better grades you get, the more money you get for college. And that was always a big goal with me. It's like because, I mean, I play sports, but I'm not a national champion or nothing, so I'm not going to get a full ride somewhere. But the academic portion can, like, help pick up the money where I'm not going to have loans or nothing. Um, I would just say stay focused and focus on what your end goal would be and not get distracted by, like, things. Like, not get distracted and, like, when you get tired, you have to remember your end goal and push through to achieve what you want to do. Okay. I focus on like if I didn't push through, what, how would that hurt me? Like how would that not help me achieve my end goal? I would say to plan ahead when doing work so that you have enough time to complete any work that you need to do. And if something does come up, you'll have more time to figure it later on. So just planning ahead. Like I said, just planning ahead and staying on, staying focused on top of my work. Checking assignments, making sure when everything's due. I'm planning on going to USCA next year for at least a year, and then I might transfer to USC Columbia after that. So always have fun with your work. Like enjoy every minute of it because it'll be going so quick. And always just take pride in what you're doing. I always tell myself that it's going to be worth it in the end because I've had so many assignments this year that I just didn't want to do, but I made sure to always get them done because I knew in the end it would benefit my grade and help me look like a really good student. I always try to go to my teachers of like whoever's class it is and try to get their help first and see what they say about it whenever I need help. And then like if it comes down to it and I still don't understand, I try to get my parents to help me. Whenever I saw in middle school that I was like one of the top ranked students, that pushed me to like want to be the top and always strive to get straight A's. High school is really different. So like, the middle school teachers always say that like the high school teachers are so much stricter, but really they're not. They just want you to get good grades because they know that they're setting you up for college and stuff, and they're trying to help you with the real world. So that's like a whole different approach. Uh, championship season to me is, you know, when everything's still on the line. You know, I think, um, for example, as a former coach, you know, you get to the point of your whole regular season and all that you fight for is intended to be your best at that championship phase, the playoffs and all that's, um, you know, every goal that you have as a team is at stake at that point. So just the same for me as it relates to academics and what we do within the building. So championship season is that final phase where every goal that you have is still in front of you. Uh, like I've always said, that 40% of your grade is still at stake between the last grading period, your final exams, your end of course tests, um, any other assessments that, that were taken for certifications or college career readiness. So for me, that championship season is that last phase, being at your best because all that you've done and all the hard work you put in is preparing you for that.